Hey everyone, I am back. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm going to be doing an Elsa makeup and hair tutorial. I really hope you guys are excited as much as I am, so let's get started. Alright, so what I'm first doing is drawing in my brows. I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I am doing my brows a little bit thinner today because Elsa does have thin brows. If you guys really want to see how I draw in my brows, I will have the link to that video down below. I've already primed my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Then I'm taking my color tattoo from Maybelline and this is in the color Painted Purple. I'm just going to keep on layering this color till I get the desired look because this color really does not come out pigmented at all. I'm then taking Coco Bear and Purely Naked by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to be applying this on my crease with a blending brush and I'm not sure if she had this in her eyes but the image I was looking at she had a little bit of brown in the crease I'm not sure then I'm taking the 120 palette this is the first edition I think this is a coastal sense palette I'm taking that beautiful shimmery purple color applying it where I applied the color tattoo and I'm gonna I'm gonna apply it on the lid and blend it a little bit towards the crease then I'm taking this beautiful purple color from the electric palette and I'm taking my blending brush and applying it right above the crease this is in the color Jilted, by the way. Then I'm going to be putting my brows in place with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I'm going to grab a little bit of that brow gel and apply it right in the center of my eyelid because I'm going to be using this as a glitter base. Then I'm going to be taking the Roll On Shimmer from NYX in the color Mauve Pink. Then I'm going to be taking Nylon by MAC and I'm just going to be taking a small brush and I'm going to be highlighting the brow bone. Now I'm just taking a liquid liner and applying the wing liner. I am thinking of doing an eyeliner tutorial very soon for you guys, but I'm not sure exactly what to do yet because I'm always going back and forth with the gel and liquid. Then I'm going to be taking some mascara and just coating my lashes. For my lashes, I'm going to be taking these Revlon lashes and these are called V92. They're very, very full, so you can go natural, but these are the only lashes that I have at the moment. Then I'm going to be taking the color Urban from the Electric Palette, and I'm just going to be popping that color in the outer V and blending it up towards the crease. Alright, finally moving on to the face. I'm going to be taking my NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer, and what that's going to do is just really brighten up the skin, and we all know Elsa has beautiful skin. Although she's a cartoon, I know, but her skin is just so beautiful. Then I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation in the color Classic Ivory. This is the lightest shade I have, and I love to use it for winter. So this is perfect for the look because we all know Elsa is pretty pale. And then I'm going to be buffing this out with a round top kabuki brush. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Classic Ivory and I'm just going to be highlighting my face with this. I did get a little bit too excited with this concealer guys. I don't recommend you guys putting so much. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm just like, girl, what were you thinking? But yeah, so just apply that. Highlight your face wherever you want to apply it. Then I'm going to be buffing this out with the same brush that I use for my foundation. Then I'm blending out the concealer with my fingers. That did not do the job, so I'm going to move in with the same brush that I was using and just help me blend that out. I'm then taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the color Transparent and I'm just going to set my entire face with this. I'm now taking my L'Oreal Color Ridge Eyeliner in black and I'm just going to be lining my waterline with this. I'm going to bring that liner a little bit below the lash line and I'm going to go in with Urban with a pencil brush and I'm going to be blending that out.
All right, now I'm gonna just be coating my bottom lashes. Elsa does have pink blush, so I'm going to be taking this La Femme blush in the color Scarlet. I would usually bronze up my face because I am so pale, but Elsa's pretty pale too, and that girl does not have bronzer on, so I'm not going to be putting any of that. I will be going in with my Hoola bronzer just to contour the nose because Elsa has such a cute button nose, so I'm going to be contouring that. To highlight my face, I'm going to be taking this Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm going to be applying that on the cheekbones and I'm also going to be applying this right above the little button nose just to bring it out more. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking this NYX lip liner in the color Sand Pink. I was originally going to put a lipstick over that but I actually liked how this looked on its own. Alright, so for my hair, I pretty much curled it with a 1 inch curling iron. And it's not perfect at all. We're just doing this so the braid could have a lot of volume. So you can curl it anyway, but I did curl my hair going outwards and I have it split towards the middle. Now what I'm going to do is just take my fingers and just move it around this way. By the way, I am wearing the Bellamy Hair Extensions in Chocolate Brown. They are 22 inches long. I didn't really put that many extensions on this side. I mainly just put them on this side since the braid is going to be this way. So like I said, I'm just moving my hair all right so what I'm doing is grabbing random pieces and just pinning it back she does have a French braid but you guys I am NOT good with French braids so I'm just gonna be doing a regular braid and I do apologize this does look very messy the mirror was very far away from me but after I did end up fixing it right now what I'm doing is just grabbing the rest of the hair and I'm gonna start braiding it I'm then going to be fluffing up the braid just to make it look a lot more thicker. And here is when I actually fixed it. It looks a lot more neater. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and mainly subscribe. It would mean the world to me. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.